Hello, and welcome to read us a story. What shall we read today? How about A Heart Full of Love by Michelle Bowge. It was the 22nd of October, 2015. A little girl was born. She had red hair and blue eyes and a heart full of love. We all have a heart full of love when we're born. Did you know that? Hallie is a gift, just like you and all your friends. Every child is born a gift. As Hallie grew older and ventured out into the world, she realised that not everyone feels strong and loved. She also realised that without her superpower of self-love, it would be hard not to get upset, as sometimes people can be very mean for no reason. Each time her mum would say, Hallie, place your hand on your heart. Hallie would place her hand on her heart. Her mum would say, can you feel it beating? Hallie would reply, yes mum. Her mum would say, that is your reminder that you are strong and full of love. As long as your heart is beating, I want you to imagine it filling up with love. Hallie smiled and said, yes, I can feel it beating. My body is filling up with love. I'm loved and I'm strong. Her mum would say, my darling girl, there is something you must understand. The love and strength you have within you cannot be taken away by other people. People may hurt your feelings, but they cannot take away the love that you have. You must always remember that. From then on, although Hallie still got upset, it never made her stop loving herself and she enjoyed her superpower. Wow, loving yourself is really cool, she would say. One day, years later, Hallie was very sad. She said, Mum, what happens about people who don't know the power of loving themselves? What if no one has ever told them about their superpower? Ah, her mum smiled as she told Haley. I knew one day you would change the world with your love. I just didn't know when you would be ready, but my darling girl, the time has come. You are ready. Hallie listened very carefully and thought, Me? Change the world? What an exciting thought. I'm ready. That's the day Hallie officially became a superhero. She was five years, six days and three hours old. What you don't know yet is that we are all superheroes. It's just that up until now, no one has ever shown you your superpower. Let Hallie help you discover your superpower. Are you ready? Hallie set off on missions all over the world. Each time her mum would ask, What is your mission, Hallie? Hallie would reply, To share love. What are you not allowed to do? Hallie would reply, Save people. So how do you use your powers? I show people they have the power to save themselves. Perfect, her mum would reply. Go share your love. Hallie has helped so many children save themselves. Too many to fit in this book, but let me introduce you to Khaled, Moses, Artem and Amelia. They were the first four children who saved themselves and in turn saved others. Meet Khaled, age eight. Khaled was the first of all the children to discover his superpowers. When Hallie visited Syria with her mum, she met Khaled at a market one day. Khaled was very sad. And when he and Haley started chatting, they shared magical stories about life, about other countries, but they also shared some things that they found difficult. Khaled explained how difficult it was to sleep as he worried about safety, his family and having enough food. Hallie was so sad to hear this and she told Khaled, Khaled, I know it feels like the world is watching but not loving, aware but not helping. I know we can't possibly understand your pain, but I promise you in every inch of the world, people are watching and loving. Until you can see them, I want you to see it in yourself. Love yourself and see the powers you have within. Khaled said, but Haley, I don't know how to do that. Hallie said, Khaled, place your hand on your heart. Khaled placed his hand on his heart. Hallie said, can you feel it beating? Khaled replied, yes, Hallie. 
Ali said, that is your reminder that your heart is strong and full of love. As long as your heart is beating, I want you to imagine it filling up with love. Khalid smiled and said, yes, I can feel it beating. My body is filling up with love. I'm loved and I'm strong. Ali said, yes. So whenever you find yourself worrying, scared or lost, I want you to place your hand on your heart and remember the love you have within. Now you are a superhero. You must show other children their powers. Wow! Thank you, Haley," said Khaled. Meet Moses, age 10. Moses attends school with Khaled. Moses was very mean to everyone and Khaled wanted to understand why. Moses explained it's because he's not invited into the groups. He's not made any friends and the only way he gets attention is by being mean. Khaled explained, Moses, until you can love yourself, it will be hard for others to love you in the way that you want. You belong here. You deserve to have friends and feel loved, but it has to start with you. But I don't understand, said Moses. Khaled said, well, let me show you. Khaled said, Moses, place your hand on your heart. Moses placed his hand on his heart. Khaled said, can you feel it beating? Moses replied, yes, Khaled. And Khaled said, that is your reminder that your heart is strong and full of love. As long as your heart is beating, I want you to imagine it filling up with love. Moses smiled and said, yes, I can feel it beating. My body is filling up with love. I am loved and I'm strong. Khaled said, yes, so the next time you think of being mean, I want you to remember the love you have within you and that people who love themselves don't need to hurt others. Now you are a superhero. You must show other children their powers. Wow. Thank you, Khaled, said Moses. Meet Artem, age nine. Moses met Artem when he was visiting Poland with his foster mum. Artem had fled his home in Ukraine and was crossing the border to Poland with his mum. His dad and brother remained in Ukraine. Artem and Moses shared many stories. Artem spoke of his sadness at leaving his home and how his dad and brother were still in Ukraine. Moses' heart sank and he said, Artem, I know you have been taken from your family and friends, your home, and you don't know who you are in this world. The love you had around you is still there, and until you can feel it from others, Please let me help you feel it for yourself. I want you to love yourself and see the powers you have within. Artem said, but Moses, I don't understand. Moses said, let me explain. Moses said, Artem, place your hand on your heart. Artem placed his hand on his heart. Moses said, can you feel it beating? Artem replied, yes, Moses. Moses said, that is your reminder that your heart is strong and full of love. As long as your heart is beating, I want you to imagine it filling up with love. Artem smiled and said, Yes, I can feel it beating. My body is filling up with love. I am loved and I am strong. Moses said, Yes, so whenever you feel sad, afraid or lonely, I want you to remember the love you have within. Now you are a superhero. You must show other children their powers. Wow, thank you, Moses, said Artem. Meet Amelia, age six. Artem met Amelia when she was swimming with her big sister. Artem was jumping in and splashing around when he noticed Amelia at the side of the pool, hesitant to enter the water. Artem approached Amelia and asked why she looked so sad. Amelia explained she felt embarrassed because she didn't have the proper swimming costume. She said she didn't have proper anything. She said people make fun of her and even when at home she feels no one sees her. Artem listened to Amelia speak and when she finished, Artem said, Amelia, I'm so sorry for your pain. What we wear and what we should have never matter. Who we are on the inside is what matters. I want you to feel the love you have within. Amelia said, but I don't understand, Artem. Artem said, let me show you. Artem said, Amelia, place your hand on your heart. Amelia placed her hand on her heart. Artem said, can you feel it beating? Amelia replied, yes, Artem. Artem said, that is your reminder that your heart is strong and full of love. 
As long as your heart is beating, I want you to imagine it filling up with love. Amelia smiled and said, Yes, I can feel it beating. My body is filling up with love. I am loved and I am strong. Artem said, Yes, and now you are a superhero. You must show other children their powers. Wow! Thank you, Artem. Now do you see? We all have this superpower. Wherever you are in the world, whatever your life may be, please always remember that you are loved and you are strong. Now you know your superpowers. You are a superhero. Will you join our superheroes and be part of our mission? If you see anyone who needs reminding they are loved, will you help them? The world needs your love. And that was A Heart Full of Love by Michelle Bowge. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks. Bye.